Whoa, veteran 012 in here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we climbed that goofy tower that that one El Maestro dude uh, built. I always forget his name in this version of the game. I don't know, but... Yeah, he had some traps and puzzles in there and got some fragments. This time to go to our next story plot quest destination. Time, huh? Thing over here. Yes, sir. Money. See what the hell attacked me. Welcome to Hardly Pool. do. Ah yes, the old musician bloke, the spoony guy. Yeah, this is one of the longer sequences in the game, but it's one of my more favorite ones actually. Pretty cool story stuff. A lot of biblical references. Not that I'm a fan of the Bible, mind you, but it, you know, not not to say that there isn't some kind of entertainment value from it. Like I don't actually believe any of that stuff happened, but you know, good stories nonetheless. Item shop. Nothing I care about. Treasure left. Yeah, it's just horrible timing. It's all my fault, of course. Good, huh? This musician must be quite a guy.
Beltran on C. Is that supposed to be another pun that I don't get? <laughs> Oops. Well, you don't got anything to say about that, Maribel. About how we violated that young lady's privacy in her bathroom. Hey, alright, another mini metal. That is going to be mini metal number 43, 44? 45, holy shit. Never mind. I am behind myself. We missed them. Oh well. Let's talk to the old lady. You're the mayor, huh? Yeah, usually it's a man, usually it's a dottery old dude. And she likes her honesty, I like that. Maybe she is a good mayor after all. Yeah, we'll spend the night. Wait a minute. We've heard that tune before. Haven't we? It's drudging up bad memories, isn't it? That's right, man. That's the Romer tribe. It is a very good melody, though, I will admit. Oh come on, Gabo, you're you're a kid, you should be a bundle of energy. And how we're kids too, but Gabo's like what, ten? Oh shit man, there's nobody here. Everybody's gone. Including the guard that's uh supposed to be guarding the uh the passageway. Or the tunnel over here, so... Yeah, I guess there's nothing else to do here, huh? So it's time for us to leave. And, yeah, we can't open that yet. But, we will be able to later on. We got a new enemy in this fight. A stone golem. Hoping that thin air attack works on him. Dead. And we picked up a diamond. Nice. Wow, I got that from an enemy drop. If I can get a lot of these from enemy drops, that would be great. Okay, you have one, you have one, Gabo needs one. Got all this fucking crap. I don't want. Damn, if they would just automatically put the stuff in the bag, it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, cure paralysis, by the way. 
not really worth an inventory slot considering that you don't really get paralyzed all that much in this game. But yes, we get another mini metal. Ooh. A mud raker. Not so macho. These guys are some of my favorite in the series. I just like the way they look. <laughs> They're hilariously funny looking to me. And alright, became a dread pirate. And he learned Maelstrom. That's a pretty good wind attack. I think it hits all enemies on the screen. If I'm not mistaken. Hmm. There's a church. Holy shit, they got wells out here too? Damn. How do they move the well? Can they chase us? Oh, I guess they can move the well. Well, alright then. Gives me a chance to show off Maelstrom. Oh, this is only against a group. And yeah, don't use Kamikaze. Alright, that'll kill you. I think it does a lot of damage, but it kills you, so, I don't know. I tend to steer away from skills that, that do shit like that. I guess we're not going to see a Maelstrom. Yeah, we're not going to see Maelstrom then, I guess, huh? Oh well. Wow, I got to see the strength from that, shit. <laughs> All right, maybe I should fight those guys more often. Yeah, man, that's the advantage of being a pirate. You can get a lot more items at the end of battle. Plus, again, it just works for, uh, you know, story purposes. place is more backwater than uh, Fishbell, or uh, Pilchard Bay as I, sh as I call it. guy, huh? What if it's the same guy? But yeah, it is the same guy. Just going around playing music for people and they're mysteriously disappearing. But why aren't we disappearing too? That is the question. The 
Ocean is frightened. Hmm. Sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. Yeah, he's, sing he's singing praises about the equipment here, but I will not do the same. Um, yeah, you get a staff of anti-magic. All this stuff is largely crap, so I wouldn't get it. Mm, yeah, all this stuff is, again, largely crap. I won't even bother with a platinum shield. Save your money, man. Save your money. I guess I shouldn't judge. I mean, Maribel was a bard for a little bit. Just for that soothing song, that's really the only ability I like from the bard. Or the, tr what do they call it? The Trabador? In this version? Whatever it's called. Yeah, pretty small village, huh? Wow, not much of a lighthouse. About as bare bones as you can get. Hmm. Fish aren't biting, huh? Thing is wonderful, absolutely wonderful music. Gave me such a hard on. And to be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie, Sugiyama's music probably gives me a hard on. Not literally, but definitely figuratively. But yeah, we got another mini metal. We find a lot of mini metals lately. Singing's rubbish? No. Well, 
that guy's an asshole. Oh well. Let's rest up. Going towards Wetlock, huh? Haven't been there yet. Just vanished. What the fuck? Who are you and what have you done with Maribel? Oh, you're joking. I was gonna say that's pretty messed up. I don't think she's joking though. I think she's actually really legitimately scared, but yeah, as long as she threw the little insult in there and the joking part, yeah, that's her. All right, so everybody's gone. So let's leave. Nothing else to do here. Got all the loot. I didn't stop at the church, did I? I should probably do that. Yeah, good idea, my friend. Good idea. a chest in this tall grass somewhere. Maybe that's in the present time. Probably in the present time. That's probably what I'm thinking of. Oh, come on, man. We gotta get to the bottom of this so it doesn't happen to everybody, man. Not just us. Don't be just thinking about us, Mirabel. Church people like them. And you can get pink pearl here. It's not even that good for style. I don't even know why you'd get this. What a waste. manner of shit do you have here? Hmm. 
Well, the Magical Skirt's okay, but I think you actually get less spell reduction with a Magical Skirt than you do with a Magical Vestment. So, naturally, I'm not going to be getting it. But I guess if you're going to get something here, like if you don't have Magic Vestments, this is okay. I, mean, I think you get like 15 points spell reduction. I don't know the exact specifics, but... Um... I wouldn't bother with it. You don't need it. Save your money. This will... You will, you will definitely appreciate saving your money for later. Because the stuff you want to buy are insanely expensive. What? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. I don't understand what he was saying. guy's name. Couldn't they give him a more appropriate name, like Old Man Spoonie or something? about charisma. Oh well, he left. Whatever. Oh man, she's in love with the guy. She's from hearing music. I think you should like go by a little bit more than that. An iron lance. I'm selling that shit. It's like fucking Faraday equipment, man. burning your food. Apparently that music almost puts people in a trance. Nope, not your imagination. You've seen it before. So have I. Alright. Strength seed. Getting a nice collection of them. Terrible sea monster by the name of Gracos attacked the city, dragging it and the entire island 
it stood on down to the depths of the ocean. People who inhabit Hardly Pool, Spilton, and Wetlock today are the descendants of the fortunate few who survived that awful incident. Ah. Well, at least they didn't change Krakos' name in this version. Glad they kept that one the same. go to the inn yet. Oh, we've heard of it. Yeah, the villagers disappeared, man. No, not a dream, because it happened twice. Goosebumps, huh? Is it the good kind or the bad kind? Who the fuck knows? Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, the raft. Well, we can't get everything with the raft yet. Come over here. Check out this little, uh, treasure trove thing they got going on over here. Pound's Vault. Okay. there's a mini metal in the present time on this platform here when we come back to this town if I recall could be wrong about that but I'm fairly certain there is one there okay let's go to the end I think it's safe to do that now
half price. Oh, you're about to say for free. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's not gonna break our bank to pay 24 gold. guy all along. You spoony villain. Yeah, I love how Maribel just automatically labels him a villain. I must say that when I first played this game, I wasn't really sure. I mean, I didn't label him a villain, a villain immediately, but you know, that's the kind of stuff that Maribel does, you know, that's what she does. You know, we're inside some sort of old ass building apparently, huh? With enemies everywhere. We've got golems and bad eggs and... No problem, no? Ooh, magicians too. One treasure. I think it's over here, is it not? Sir. Okay, these armored uh, war toys guys, they're annoying. They have really high defense, but it shouldn't matter because we have Inferno and Thin Air attack. Gabo mastered the um, Monster Master and he learned Scorch, which is amazing. You're going to be seeing a lot of Scorch. Scorch is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Okay. 
I got all the treasure on this floor, so let's go upstairs. Well, we can't go this way. Oh well. I'm sure there's another way that leads up. But yeah, man, Scorch. Scorch. Look at that. That's a lot of damage. It's going to be good for a long time. Ultimate random encounter skill, man, with Gabo since he's got high agility. And this poor guy just wants to be looked after. Isn't that nice? That poor shaman guy. Eight or one to eight slimes, yeah. Let's defend so these guys can do their thing. Yeah, these guys like to merge into a king slime. Cool, huh? Let's get them. you move. Uh-oh. Ah. Shortcut. Oh, a bunch of people up here. This place is old, very old. People don't seem to be in danger, so why are they here? Nothing but water, huh? No wine. Tangle web. I don't care. I think that's a that's a, that's a crap item that nobody ever uses. 
You said I've never seen anybody use those items in these games. Uh, sure. Yeah, and I think I better save before my controller dies. Has been known to happen. Okay. Horse poopy. I don't know why they're storing horse poopy up here, but that's what they're doing. What are you doing, kid? Oh. Yeah, we'll go talk to him. Open the door for us. Although I don't think I'm going to go up there in this video. But yeah, this is how you get the door open. What a great kid, huh? He doesn't even look like he's big enough to move that lever. Well, not so sure. Okay, here we go. Now this guy... Sells some things. Sells a fairy foil, which is a pretty decent sword for this point in the game. Basically, you use it and it'll cast the buff spell. So it's not bad. It's a free buff spell if you, if you have it in a character's inventory. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to be learning sword dance with uh, Vet pretty soon when he gets to pirate level 8. I want higher attack power, so I think it's a worthy purchase. Plus, you get a free buff out of it. Oh, wait. Did you fuck up my, my shit? Oh, no. I still got my diamond and my dress leaf. Wow, the game, the game was smart enough to keep this stuff in my inventory. How about that? Yeah, don't I have like a Sands of Time item too? Somewhere? Oh, there we go. Let's give this to Gabo, just in case. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need it, but nice to have just in case. Something goes terribly wrong. I need to reset the battle. Like in a boss fight or something. That is if I remember to use it, of course. Yeah, this is the high and dry tower. <laughs> nice, uh, nice pun there, huh? Yeah, you're the mayor of Hardly Pool. Yeah, why didn't we get whisked up with everybody else? Guess maybe we just weren't swept up by the song. Or the enchantment didn't work on us for some reason. I, I don't know. I don't fucking know.
<laughs> hey lady, can you move? that huh follow the way man although her moving out of the way it doesn't really matter because yeah these old people aren't gonna last very long man Anyway, I'm going to end the video right here, and in the next episode, we're going to talk to Old Man Riffer. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.